Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. And one of our followers, I hope you're a subscriber too, asked this question, and they're obviously not married. Um, I take that back. Maybe they are. Can you not end up with your soulmate? And it's kind of sad that someone would be asking that question when they're already married. And the answer is no, flat out. Because, you know, the term soulmate is so misunderstood because what has happened in our world, the world lives on a mundane plane, right? It's very material. There are three planes of existence, you might say. One is the uh, bottommost, the, the plane of action, reaction, self-preservation. And this plane, if someone's living on that plane, hopefully they're in a prison because they're probably psychopaths. They only look out for themselves. And then we have the mundane plane, which is a combination of that self-preservation. You can't get away from it because it's constantly pinging the mind. And then you have the spiritual plane and that's where love exists. And that's where the soul comes in because you are a soul. You have a body, it pings your mind. You have a mind. You're not your mind. The mind can be referred to as the ego or the pseudo soul, but you are a soul. And the person that you're with is also a soul. And that you're together means you're soul mates. Does it mean that you're gonna live in peace and harmony? Yes, if you know what you're doing. There's the problem, is all of us meet our soulmates, we fall in love, you fell in love, you can't go back and say, oh no, I didn't love them, I just married them because they had money. That's not what happened. And if you're a man, you can't go, oh, I just married her because I needed a green card. No, you meet your soulmate, you fall in love, that's why you got married. And then the mind kicks in and it displaces all of the love. It pushes out of the way because of fear. Be fear because of self-preservation because we're not treated properly. Why? Because of self-preservation, the drive to survive. It gets us to do stupid things. It makes our mind behave in a kind of an animal way and we behave poorly. And so we get very discouraged and we become well, this can't be my soulmate. Well, it is. So the answer is, yes, you could end up with your soulmate only. And the answer is to learn how to be married, to learn how to express love, to learn how to bring joy into your marriage. It's an educational thing. When I, when I first started training, uh, counselors, naturally I went to psychotherapists and I was in San Diego County. We started this in early 2000s. I used to be a divorce mediator and then I reinvented marriage, you might say. And so then in 2011, I wanted to train some people so we could spread. And one of my favorite therapists, he's passed away, was Paul Hagenberger. And um, I gave him my book, Breaking the Cycle to Read. I gave all of these who I trained the book to start with. And he said, Paul, I, I do all this stuff. I said, oh, then Paul, you don't need us. I'm just so happy. Because my thing is to change the world by helping people with their marriages. And he said, no, no, I want to be part of it. You get it. It's all about education. And it's all about education. With the right education, you can have the most amazing marriage, period, because marriage is designed to be amazing. It's designed to just fill you with love and joy and happiness, like without limitation. But it's like getting into a car without having any education about how to drive. You're gonna wrap it around a tree. So you gotta learn. Don't be discouraged because right now you're mad at your soulmate. Don't be discouraged. Don't give up. Instead, start taking a look. Subscribe to this channel so you start learning things. Read my articles. Get my books. Maybe things have gone so far that you need the course, either the course for men or the course for women. Do it. Because trust me, 
Divorce is not pretty. As a divorce mediator, I saw it. I saw what it did to the kids. I saw what it did to the husband and the wife. It's not pretty. We have a lot of ways of compensating for the misery we go through when we go through that. But I mean, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot at stake here. So don't give up on your marriage. Instead, learn how to be married and you'll see that what I'm telling you is right. And you'll be very grateful that you found this video. And by the way, if you want to become a TMF marriage counselor, I'm starting to put together a course to train people online and it's going to be really, really cool. So go to our website and check it out. And thank you for visiting. God bless you. I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder and take care.